Hello, my name is Larry Stimson. This is part 5 of my video series on Internet Video Players. In my previous video, I showed you how to build an HTML5 video player. In this video, I'll introduce you to custom controls for your video player. I'll start by adding a play button. First, I'm going to remove the existing controls. Then, in my cascading style sheet, I'll create a new block for my controls. I'll call it Content Buttons. I'll set the border to one pixel thick. Solid line and light gray in color. I'll save the file and return to my code. Now I'll create a new div below the closing video tag. I'll select Content Buttons for its ID and close the div. I'll insert a new button in between the div tags. I'll set its ID to play. When the user clicks on the button, it will execute a function that I will call Play Video. I'm using the greater than symbol as the graphic for this button. Now I'll scroll down and create a JavaScript function for my play button. JavaScript needs to know what element it will be acting on. The code looks like this. My video is my variable, and it will be set to the same ID as the video player ID. I'll create a function which I'll call play video. I'll enter my video dot play and a pair of rounded brackets followed by a semicolon. This will execute the play method in HTML5. I'll save the file, reload my browser, click on the new play button, and the video begins to play. The only problem is I can't stop it from playing. I'll fix that by adding a pause button. I'll return to my code and add a pause button like this. I'll set the ID to pause, execute a pause video function when clicked, and use two pipe characters as a graphic for the button. I'll scroll down and create a new function named pause video. This function will execute the pause method in HTML5 and looks like this. I'll save the file, reload my browser, click on play, and now click on pause. Now I'll combine play and pause into one button that will toggle between play and pause. First, I'll delete the pause button, then I'll rename play video to play pause. I'll scroll down to the JavaScript functions. I'll delete the pause function and rename the play video function to play pause. I need to declare a variable that will handle the state of the play pause button. I'll name this variable button. Now I'm going to create a conditional statement to test if the video is paused or not. If the video is paused, play the video and change the image for the button to the two pipes. Otherwise, pause the video and change the image for the button to the greater than symbol. I'll save the file and reload my browser. I'll click the play button. The video begins to play and the button face has changed to pause. I'll click the pause button. The video stops and the button face has changed back to play. In my next video, I'll show you more controls that you can add to your HTML5 video player. Please join me again.